Joined by Hofstra coach John Russo following a 6-3 loss to Elon in the opening game of a Colonial Athletic Association Series. Coach, thoughts on tonight's game? You know, it's a, a tough loss. I thought we played good baseball. Um, you know, Elon's the best team in the league for a reason. You know, we gave them a break in that uh, seventh inning when they got their runs. And um, I, I think if you're being truthful, we probably outplayed them in eight of nine innings today. And um, tip your cap. They're a good club for a reason. You know, not only do they pitch really well, but they're really tough offensively. And they just got in that inning and we couldn't get ourselves out of it. And uh, that used to be a bugaboo uh, to us earlier in the season. And it got us in the seventh inning. We just couldn't get out of it. They caught a really good break on the letting the kids swing um, with first and second. It goes down the line and uh, just seemed to landslide right there. But, you know, I'm really proud of, you know, how well we battled um, the whole day. You know, 10 hits, we out hit them. Um, Jet was really good. I thought Joyce had great stuff and super proud of Seamus coming in there and um, finishing it off. Now, how much does it mean to have Jet have a performance like this, you know, especially going forward with uh, two more Fridays not too regular season? You know, Jet's, Jet's been really good all year. I mean, Friday night's tough. You get Friday night umpire, you know, you get Friday night adrenaline, you get uh, them and, you know, uh, you know, I would take almost every start he's given us this year. I mean, uh, Wilmington two weeks ago, he had no hitter. He gets us another four and a third. Had a 2-1 lead when he came out. Really proud of Jimmy for getting out of that uh, first and second jam right there. And, um, you know, Jed's been really good all year. I'm really happy with uh, Jed. You know, tough early start. Gets the, the walks and wild during uh, the rain delay. And, you know, he has to come back and pitch after the rain delay and gets Adcock, you know, one of the best hitters in the league, um, you know, out there to end the inning in the top half. Jack's good. We have a lot of confidence in him. Coach, your team was able to jump out to the lead in the middle innings. What was some things that you saw from your offense that you want them to build off of in the rest of the series? You know, I, I think, um, you know, we, we've been playing better when we're aggressive. Um, you know, able to get a couple stolen bases there. I thought that that helped the offense because you're just not going to string together, you know, three hits off of Baranovich. You're not going to string together three straight hits and score a run off of Adcock, you know. Um, same thing for Kirby tomorrow and weather beyond game two. I mean, you got to be aggressive and you got to do it. We had some big two out hits, you know, uh, two freshmen, Morash, you know, gets the two out knock. Uh, Flaherty follows it up with the two out knock. Um, you know, Robbie was good with the home run. I thought Robbie was as good as any hitter in the park today. I really loved everything he did um, the whole day. I mean, I'm just, you know, Vito had a nice day, gets two hits. I mean, Really happy with a lot of positives. You throw away one inning, we played a really great, good baseball game. Now, what does it say about your team? You guys left 14 runners on base, but you know you still able to keep it competitive, and um, you know it was only a 6-3 loss. But what does it say about this team? Even though that you know late in the game, like the big hit didn't really come, but you know able to stay competitive throughout one of the best teams in the CAA. You know the the weather really hurt us. You know being a dark day, and then you know I don't know how many it is, but they they threw. Uh, you know, Adcock there at the end is 94, 97, you know, on a fog and, you know, had left the bases loaded, but just tough to hit. You can't see the baseball and overcast day the whole day. And, you know, I, I thought our guys just battled it. You know, it should be truthful. I didn't even know it was 14 until you just said it. But, you know, I felt like we were just aggressive and we did a lot of good things and really happy with where the offense is. I thought we played good defense and um, I thought we pitched well. I mean, we just won it and got us. I think everybody knows it. And, Tip your cap to Elon to come in here after a tough night last night to um, uh, get the win today and stuff. We got a quick turnaround tomorrow, and we're gonna play, uh, you know, basically three games within 36 hours. So we have no time to put our head down and be feel sorry. And coach uh, Seamus Brazil has now gone eight appearances without allowing an earned run. How important has he been to your team this season? You know, he came in right there with uh, first and second one out and. Uh, you know, gets two pop-ups and then has two really clean innings and he gives us a chance there in the ninth inning. You know, we loaded the bases and uh, had two guys come up with a chance to win it, uh, at least tie it, and uh, I think that falls right on to Seamus Brazil of how good he was been. And, um, you know, just really love that I'm able to count on Seamus to throw strikes and, and do his thing. He's fast experience and really happy he's having a great year. Hey, I know you guys really kind of outplayed, he said, you know, eight of the nine days, you guys outplay Elon, even though that this game goes down as a loss, does the confidence still build knowing that you guys, you know, took them to basically the last out? You know, we judge everything um, how hard we play. You know, wins and losses are tough, um, but I, I thought we played hard. I, you know, I thought we played hard for nine innings. We're going to play hard for 18 innings tomorrow. 
it's what we do. It's uh, how we do it. We're not the best uh, average team, the best ERA team, but uh, we're 35 strong going after people. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.